Hello everybody, it's Sandra. I'm glad you joined me today. This is gonna be a walk around a very, very nice antique auction. There's lots and lots of jewelry. I spent a ton of money. We'll do a haul at the end. I'm also gonna be selling some things at the end. But look at that bracelet. Whoa, sold for $240. That was an amazing cuff bracelet. Now here is a lot of costume rings. I liked a lot of the rings there. Nothing was really knocking me out. That lot sold for $95. Definitely profit to be made there. But I wasn't overly excited about it. And there were so many choices. This is a very nice plastic lot. There is some Bakelite in there. I like plastic jewelry a lot. But again, nothing was really knocking me out. Very nice, however, for sure. And let me try to see how much that lot sold for. That whole lot sold for $100, which I think is very reasonable. I'm trying to find something spectacular. I buy to resell and also to collect and wear, too. A little bit of both. And my mom's going to join me at the end of this video. I hope you find something you want to buy. You can always uh, send me offers, too, if you'd like. And if I missed anything, if you see anything that's valuable that I didn't know about, please point it out. I would love to know. Look at that frog. How cute is that? Now, this lot is sterling. This whole lot sold for $130. Not bad. I don't think that was a real opal, by the way. I'm all about that bracelet, but you can see it has missing stones, so forget it. That's a cool old parrot pin. I think that one actually has some nice age on it. Pretty stuff. Ooh, I love that. I was also trying to budget myself because I knew there were a few lots that I had to have and I figured they would go high and they did. So I'm also trying to save some of, them, some of my money. Oh, that's so nice. Oh, I love that. Fabulous marcasite. Money to be made there for sure. Absolutely. Look at that pretty thing. Love it. Another little frog. So cute. This lot is nice. That's pretty. Look, missing the pin. There's also a stone missing. I don't know if you noticed that. Those are pretty amazing. Wow. This whole lot sold for $70, which I don't think is bad at all. Some pretty stuff. Even if you had a yard sale, you could make money, I think. The 70 is a pretty good deal. I love that one. Look how fancy. I love the white milk glass necklace, too. Double row. That's beautiful. It's in very nice condition, too. Fun lot. This is gorgeous, isn't it? I love that. That sold for $200. I looked it up. I saw that that pendant alone sold for $250, I think, or something. But the chain is lovely. And, of course, to have the matching earrings. How great is that? Fantastic. Here's a beautiful lot of gold. This is 14 karat gold and 10 karat gold. And uncharacteristically, I bought it. And that's why, because that's a witch's heart and I love witch's hearts. So this is gonna be the end of our walk around the auction for now. We're gonna have a look at this lot that I bought. And then I'm gonna show you another lot very quickly. And then my mom and I are gonna delve into it in some detail. Here's the other lot I bought. You know why? Whoa. I bet you a lot of you know what that is. That's an A-lister. All right, let's have a look. I have no idea how many of these items we're going to get through. Let's try to get through this flat and the gold I bought. We also have this flat and then we have this flat. We have two other flats and then two huge things of sterling silver rings. How are you, Mom? I'm very good, thank you, and I'm very excited because I haven't seen any of this yet. I know, and you are a jewelry lover, too. I am. All right, well, did you want to say hi to anybody? 
Uh, I, yes, I want to say hi to Susan, and I'm sorry I missed you this time, Sue. Yeah, we'll catch you next time you're up here. Of course. All right, so I guess what we'll do first is take a look at the gold. Now, uh, ordinarily, I would say what I paid for things, but I don't really want to say today, Mom. You know why? Because it was a lot. <laughs> okay. It was a lot. So if it's a bargain, if it's a bargain, I don't mind saying it because then it's... Makes you feel good. It's different, yeah. But then if I say how much I pay, then it sounds, I don't know, I want to seem like I'm like bragging about how much I spent. Hopefully I didn't spend too much. Let me just put it that way. Okay. So I got this whole lot of gold. I don't usually buy gold. Isn't this interesting? How pretty is that carving? Look at the outfit. That's very unusual. So this is 10 carat, but that's very pretty. I like that there's a lot of gold on this one too. This is a very pretty little thing. It kind of looks like a, a starfish, right, Mom? Yes, it does. Or a flower. Yes. It is missing a seed pearl, but more importantly, it's missing one of its little arms right here. This is, I think something broke off right there. This is a lovely Art Nouveau thing. I didn't see a mark on this one, so I don't know if it's 10 or 14. Now, this one is very pretty. That's a, a very pretty I like that. pearl. Yeah, it's like a Baroque pearl. I like the, the leaf motif. Let's see. 10 karat antique ring. Yeah, I would definitely say that's an antique ring. That's pretty. I love that. Nice, right? The shape of it's unusual. Yeah, I think so too. Well, this I love. This is a fantastic. Did you see this one? Yes. Oh, yes. what a pretty locket this is. It's 10 carat and it opens. I opened it up to see if anyone was in here. Oops, that's always what I want to know. Nobody is in well, here. Well, then you can put somebody in. You can put somebody in there. And there's a mark, 10 carat. This is a lovely thing. That's a shell cameo. Very nice. I like the carving. It's interesting that the cameo itself is heart shaped. Mm -hmm. They kind of like carved her hair so that it went down a little bit there. It's a very neat piece. And then these things, oh, okay, wait, two are together here. These things sometimes sell, these employee rewards. H-E Limited, I have no idea who that is. I will look that up. It's obviously some sort of an electric company because the light bulb is right there. I don't know who this is. I'll, I'll try to figure that out. And there it is, 10 carat. But depending, sometimes these sell. If you get a bidding war, right, Mom? Because maybe sure. two people work there and then of both course. of them are trying to buy it. Of course. So that could be a cool thing. And then here's a little tiny one. And this is something, probably 10. That pro I'm just going to assume that says 10. And, oh, this ring is very nice, too. Yes. This is new, or... -er. But it's very pretty. It's in nice condition, too. Very this glitzy. 10 karat white gold. Yeah, very, very much so. But this one is the reason that I wanted this whole lot. This is our witch's heart again, Mom. Oh, really? Yep. So this is a witch's heart. You can see the, the bottom of the heart points to the right. Oh, for heaven's sake. And this is when you would bewitch somebody with your... Yes. Your charms. See, pearls and antique pins. So they didn't know that this is called a witch's heart. Do you love that? I do. I love it, Knowing too. what it is. Yes, I Knowing do. what it is. It's yeah. unusual. Yeah. They're rare. It's kind of a cool thing. Yes. I love it. So now we can go through this box. I think these might be mostly brooches. Um, but this one is the one that is worth the whole thing that I paid for all of this. So this one right here is a crown trafari. This is part of their uh, Precious Pets, I believe is the name of the series. And there's a crown trafari. Do you know why there is sometimes a crown over the T and a crown trafari? No, I don't. So trafari was known for making crown brooches. And it became kind of a big signature for them. And the line sold so well, they just decided to add it to their logo. So that's all. Good idea. Now, one of these, the exact same one, in fact, this is a prancing horse, 
One of these sold on eBay for almost $250 recently. Well, I like it even better. Yep. Yep. Isn't it fantastic? So I recognized it immediately. As soon as I saw it in the box, I knew that I would buy this lot because I knew that it would be a good one. (laughs) And it is. Isn't it cute? Love that one. I'll probably sell this one on eBay unless somebody wants it. It really is cute. (laughs) But this will help me recoup or will fully recoup me for the whole lot. So not for all the stuff I bought because I spent a fortune today. But anyway, I love all of these. This one has a little bit of chipping on the edges. We'll sell all these for one money. So you have the the leaf one. And then there's some flower powery ones. These are metal. I love metal flower power jewelry. Really nice condition. The brown one was nice. That one's really nice. How about this one? Really pretty. Wow. And this one, is that missing a stone? I don't think so. Yeah, it's pretty. Okay, shade enameling. And then this orange one. Um, that one's cute. And this one's awesome also. Metal and metal. So I guess we could sell all of these together as a lot. Because, you know, when people like the metal, they like the metal. I know I I certainly do. So I guess I could do 30 for this whole lot plus shipping. That's an awesome lot, isn't it? Love it. So here's a flower lot we can put together. We can do this purple one. Don't you like that? Very. I do too. We have that one. <laughs> And we have this one. I don't know what this is. I guess it's it's like very thin wire with thread around it or something. That's actually pretty. You know it that? Is. It is. I like the colors. So we can do that one, that one, and this one together. And should we add more? Let's add oh, more. Yes. How about this little thing? That's pretty. Green enameling. This is metal. Nice condition. Yeah, that is very nice condition. And then we have this one. I don't see any any um, missing stones. Do I? There might be. Oh, I don't see anything. Okay. Not signed, but very pretty. This one's fantastic. Whoa. This one is so mod and space agey. Is that a word? Space agey? I you bet can, you it's not. You can say it. Oh, you thank you, Mom. You're welcome. And here's a metal one. I could sell all these together for 30. That's a cute lot. I would uh, sell the two of these together for $8. Those are really pretty. Nice. Look at the emerald green. Yeah. Isn't that pretty? Yes. And then the clear rhinestone heart. Yeah. And I think that's a pretty good price, right? Yes. I could do 20 for three. So first of all, we'll... Include that one. That one's very interesting and very cool. And then this one is next. I love this one. Isn't this cool? Look, Mom. Oh, it's very pretty. Yes. I like the neutral colors. Yes. yes. And the other thing will be this. And this has some Moonglow thermoset with the leaf motif. All three of those together for one price. Well, here are three really cute enamel, metal enamel brooches. So first we have the bird. Oh, what is this, Mom? Is this a chickadee? Well, it it could be. <laughs> it could be. I'm not too good on birds, Sandy. <laughs> I like the I like to say chickadee. I like the word chickadee. Okay. And then we have this very cool butterfly. That's pretty awesome. And look at this loveliness. Even signed. Look at that. I don't know what that says. Something, something Quebec. So all three of these. I could sell uh, these all together for 15 if anybody wants that whole lot. Reminds me of... um... Chiquita Banana, and I'm here to say. Yes, Carmen Miranda, (laughs) her hat. hat. 
This is a nice condition, actually. Mm -hmm, it mm -hmm. says Western Germany here. That's pretty. This is straw. Nice. That's adorable. Yeah, and that one. Yes. Look at the orange. Is They're that? really fun. <laughs> I love it. Really fun. I could do eight for both of these. <laughs> Look at all those bananas. Yes, you could wear it out, special occasion. <laughs> Well, here is a beautiful thing, that's for sure. It's very nice. I guess this was part of a necklace at some point in its life, but it will totally work as a brooch, no problem. Sure. I love the earring and the necklace on this one. Isn't that pretty? Yes. I like the frame on it, too. It's different. Really um, shiny and sparkly. Nice detailing in this one. I could sell that one for 22. I like these. These are leather or something, aren't they, Mom? Yes. They seem like they are. They're kind of pretty. This one is signed, I think, by somebody. I don't know who. I don't know what that says. Looks like it has some age on it, though. I could sell both of these together for 10. This is a very high quality reverse carved. Painted, I mean, probably pressed, not like but isn't hand it pretty? carved. Isn't it pretty? Yeah, yes. I love these lucite yep. Uh, yep. brooches. I'm just trying to feel if there's any flaws. I don't feel anything. I have never seen one with palm trees. No, have they you? really stand out. It's, it's lovely. I love this one too. Yeah. I could do 15 on this. Here's a pretty little thing. Yes. Isn't this nice? This is pop metal. This is probably from the 20s. It's very, very deco. Yes. Glued in stone. Some discolorations on the stone. Some discoloration. It's still very, very cute. I really like this. I could do 12. No, 10. 12 is too much. $10 for this. It's a nice antique item. I love these porcelain flower ones. I didn't see any nicks or chips on the tips of anything. That doesn't mean there's not, though. So let's really examine it now and see. That one looks good. This one's fantastic. I don't feel any rough spots. I don't see any problems here. And that's the Kara something or other. I've had this one, this name brand before. And then this lovely purple one. This one's cool too, like a carnation. I'm not seeing any or feeling any damage, which is crazy because they were all just like stuck in that box. Mm -hmm. This one seems to have some paint loss. Yeah, I don't know. Maybe those are small chips to the porcelain itself. Not sure. What do you think would be a good price for this lot, Mom? I would say 22 Okay. Pretty. Well, what we can do now, I guess, Mom, should we just go, go through everything? And then if anybody wants anything, just reach out. The prices aren't going to sure. be much. Sure, sure, sure. You want to just do that? Sounds because it's hurting my brain to have to lock them and then come up with prices. <laughs> sure. So we'll just do a regular old haul. Yeah. I love this one. This is Western Germany. This is a scarf holder. Mm -hmm. I have, I think, something just like this. I think I have the, um, I don't know, earrings or brooch or something that's very similar to this. I love it. Yeah, I've it's never plastic. Seen that. It's very cool. The coating, right? Mm -hmm. Whatever it is. Very sure iridescent. <laughs> yep. Mm-hmm. And look at this pretty thing. Yep. That's very nice enameling. This looks very Celtic, doesn't it? Yes. Remember years ago, you would not say Celtic, right? You would say Celtic, and then it, they changed it? Yes. I don't like that. <laughs> <laughs> I'm just saying, you can't. No one cares if you don't like it. I know. You, you can't change things. And yeah. one of the planets is no longer a planet. I don't like that either. All right, let's see what this says. Remember at first it was Haley's Comet, now it's Halley's Comet. 
I can't. I can't keep up. Well, this is really cute. This is an ultra craft. Look. I like it. A cat. <laughs> an artist. That's very cute, actually. On the table. Yes. I have sold um I have sold that before, that neighbor and ultra craft. It's another little lucite. These are dried flowers. That's kind of interesting. Mm -hmm. And here are two roses. I have seen these before. Fun to wear. Yeah, these are really fun. On a yep. lapel. Yep. Mm, on a coat. What do you say? What do you say? I gotta look. That's right. Giovanni, that says. Oh. Yep. I only know because I have had some of those. Oops. Focus problem. There we go. And this is so cool. This is definitely handmade, but look at these mushrooms. Mm. That seems like that was hard to make and it didn't break or chip makes you dizzy just looking at them. definitely <laughs> right right no don't ingest them it's very alice in wonderland what uh -huh. were we just talking about alice in wonderland last night yes that's kind of weird and this look at this yeah that that really shows up too it really does it's like a foil sort of thing it really shows up reminds me of your lamp yes Yes, this is a cello too, I think. Mm -hmm. I think you're right about that. Mm -hmm. I love that lamp. Did I ever tell you the story about that lamp? No. So we we're on vacation. We we're at our, our cabin and there's a little like antique store in town slash junk store, not like fancy or anything like that. So I see it, that cello lamp in the window and I almost freaked out. And so of course they were closed. Let me just see if this is real. <laughs> They were closed. They were closed. So I said, of oh, course. if I'm not there first thing in the morning, someone else is going to oh, buy it. Sure. You know. So I went first thing in the morning when they opened. I was standing outside alone, you know, like a total dork. And um, it was $75. What if I can find a picture of it, I'll put it on the screen because it's it's really one of my prized possessions. I love that cello yeah, I love lamp. It. Yes. I Good love conversation piece, Sandy. Too. Yes. You know, <laughs> everybody mentions it who comes to our place. Everybody Oh, look at this cute little thing. That's a dog. Yes. And he's pulling a basket of flowers. I love baskets. Golden Retriever. Is it? Mm hmm Is that one of the smartest breeds? No, it's one of the most loved. It's the most popular. Oh. They're lovely and they like everybody. Yeah, they're friendly. Yeah. Unlike chihuahuas. Well, our chihuahuas are friendly, <laughs> but they only like who they like. These are both really cute. I remember these. Mm -hmm. This is suede. Mm -hmm. That might have some nice age on it, this Thunderbird. or If you're a veteran, it'd be nice on your cap. Yes, definitely. Definitely. Is it an eagle, you think, or a Thunderbird? I'm not sure. It's red, white, and blue, so maybe an eagle. I'm not sure. I would think it'd be an eagle. Maybe. Because it's patriotic, mm -hmm. the colors. I like them. I like them. Yeah. This is such a cool thing. Wow. Moon Children. And it's signed by the artisan. That's very detailed. This is plastic. It just needs its pin thing on. And this is sitting here. I bet you that is supposed to go on here. So through the years, this glue sometimes can get very dry and it just sort of breaks off. There's nothing wrong with the piece, though. That's really cute. I love that. And I noticed a lot of these in here did seem hand handmade. Oh, look at the hummingbird. Yeah, I like that. I like this too, actually. Look oh, how delicate the beak is. Up. Yes. Oh, I love that. And pewter by Shields. That's cool. I love pewter jewelry. A lot of people collect it. It's a thing. A lot of people collect wooden jewelry also. That's pretty. Anything with a flower. And here's just some little, <laughs> look. Too sweet, little, too little sweet. Christmas pin. And this is just shell. I think that's actually shell. That's in nice condition. Ah, uh, this is a shame. This is all discolored. But somebody who had the patience could pull those out and put non-yellowed stones in there. That's very pretty. And the back has 
We'll never agree on the pin part. That's pretty though. What I will likely do is the ones that don't sell individual, I'll just lot them all up and sell them maybe back in the auction or I don't know, probably. Or maybe I'll just put them on my eBay page as one big lot. There's probably some more pewter ones in here too. Oh, I see a butterfly. What is this one? Oh, that one's so pretty. Oh, I love this. It's so colorful. Look at all that enameling. Lovely. Look at this little piece of corn. Do you see this? <laughs> no. That's so weird. <laughs> it's very pretty, actually. Is it wood? No, it looks like it's sterling. Look, you probably can't see it, right? Look. It looks like oh, it's yes, sterling, maybe. It. Yeah, I like that. Oh, look at this pretty thing. And this is a Limoges and a Florenza. These have some nice resale value. Let me see if there's any issues. I don't really see anything. Like a little bit of mild handling wear, I guess you would say. That's nice. Very nice. How girly. And this paint right here is raised up, like the pearl necklace and the flowers in the hair. Isn't that charming? Very, yes. So pretty. I like shell stuff, ocean stuff. Here's a pretty little blue rhinestone. And this leather one we can put with the other leather ones for free. And then this one we can put with the other enamel ones for free. This one's cool. I mean, they're all cool, but it's great copper, enamel copper, fun. This is lovely. This sure seems like it's sterling now, doesn't it? I would have to check that. Doesn't that seem sterling? Yes. It's very pretty. Wow. It's you a know, nice You, you look condition. at these things and, and you say, you know, on certain things, they would just be standout. You know, they'd be what do you lovely. Mean? Well, oh, you mean like this on a white yes, blazer yes, or something? Yes. In itself, you're, you're seeing it and you're saying, well, I don't know. But when you put it on something... It's just lovely. True. True. Yeah. I love this too. It's a little, what is that? A loot or a, it kind of looks like a loot, doesn't it? That's really cool. The strings. You don't care for the pencil. Huh? Uh, well, some of these, there's a lot of ceramic ones and we're not going to show those all individually, but we'll keep the ceramic ones in there. They're kind of like hand done and stuff. Sure. sure. Um, and I don't know a thing about them. I don't know, like a lot of them are signed and stuff, but we'll, we'll show those in a few minutes. That's pretty. Is that Volkswagen? Yes. These things, oh, that's a great roadrunner, copper roadrunner. <laughs> He's really cute. Oh, that's really cute. Mm -hmm. And here's an old, like high school basketball thing. From hey, 1953. Andy, come on. That's really cute. You pull it. Hallmark? Is it? Nope. Yeah, so this VW thing you were just saying a minute ago, sometimes these sell. I don't know. This is an employee reward yes, thing. Yes. VW service, 10 years. People who collect cars or somebody who worked there. Sure. You never know. And this is kind of cute too. A little fish. It's like leather or something. Let's just see. We'll show some of these. I'm not going to show everyone, but these are like homemade ones. There's some wooden ones. There's a lot of ceramic ones. That's wood. Oh, that's a nice little paint job. That's cool. <laughs> I like you, JP. Nice. Nice. That's pretty too. Tea time. Wow. If that was hand painted, which I think it was, that's an awful lot of work. And this one's pretty. I was missing some stones. Let me see if I can get in closer here. So we have the wood ones, the ceramic ones. Um, oh, that's a sand dollar. That's a real sand dollar by the feel of it. Well, we're going to keep going through. <laughs> 
and see what we have. That one's very cool too. Made in Denmark. Hmm. Somebody collected these. There's an awful lot of these ceramic ones. And this one seems older. Missing some stones. Very pretty though. Mm -hmm. Those stones are very easy to replace. Actually, I have a lot of old stones. I could probably fix that one right up. And I guess uh, we should call it a day for this one. Okay. Just to recap, this was the the reason. Well, look, I love a lot of those things in that lot. Don't get me wrong, but this was the. He's he's the handsome, one. isn't he? He's a show off. Look at him. Very. He much. looks good. He knows well, he be. looks yes. good. Yes, he does know it. Boy, that's in nice condition. Yeah, it is. Crown Trafari. Beautiful. Love it. Yeah. Let's go back to the auction and look at some more stuff. Here's a pretty lot. This lot sold for $70, I think. Some pretty stuff here. This actually would have been fun to go through, but I have a lot of jewelry right now. But I do think some of those things are very pretty. And definitely some vintage stuff. Wow, those are great. And these earrings, those were definitely some sort of stone. Very cold, very heavy. That's how I knew they weren't plastic. Kind of cute, huh? Many beautiful things. Good price, too. But, of course, there's a buyer's premium and taxes, so you're paying about 20 or 30% more than what you actually bid. Now, this next lot I liked a lot. Sterling silver. Aren't those beautiful? That is actually a lot that I bought, and I'm going to be selling those. Definitely keep your eyes open for that. The prices are going to be very affordable, so subscribe to the channel so you don't miss that video. All right, thanks so much for coming with me today. I appreciate you. See you soon, everybody. Be well. Bye-bye.